DJ Q11. I'm here live with Tone P. Tone P, salute, man. We out here in the shop. What up? Yo, so we understand, man, you're on Big Health Industry Tour, man. How's that going for you? Um, the tour is going, is going fine, actually. You know, my first time out here, you know, actually going out and um, on my, myself as an artist because I'm a producer. And a lot of people might know from my producer catalog. Um, but as, a, as an artist, I'm you know, rocking shows in Cleveland and, and in uh, Detroit. A lot of parts of Ohio and you know the audience shot now, so big shout out to you know to Big Half for sure. Yeah, so as far as like production kind of like, like who was some of the cats you uh you done production for? Um, I recently just did Wale's Love Hate Thing. Okay. With um Sam Do, uh did um Pretty Girls for Wale, I did Bait. Shit, I've done like sixty songs maybe actually like on record. Um I did I did Chandelier uh, for currency. On his last album, Stone and Mac, I did Black Grammys on him. Uh, MMG, Self Made 3, with like J. Cole, Big Mill, and Wale, and uh, with Rocky Fresh. You know? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Rocky Fresh, man. We out here in the city, huh? That's what it is, yo. So, what would you say would be the hardest transition from producer to artist? Mm. It's just all, it's a frame of mind. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you can just be, I'm just not a nigga who can sit around pressing buttons all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not, it's just not who I am. Like, I just can't sit around. It's like, I like, that's how me and Son, while they got, you know, kind of cool and shit, because, well, we jail more as musicians, I started writing a lot of hooks. I, I, rapping led me to producing. Bro, we used to all be down in Southwest, where I'm from, from and shit, and a bunch of niggas all in one room recording on the karaoke and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck, man. I'm so you from DC? Yeah. Okay. From so Southwest. Say Southwest, I'm like, ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Why you bring me no more, uh, no chili bowl? <laughs> and then no mumbo yeah, sauce. Was, I'm saying. Yeah, we like, talk about that. Mouth sauce and mumbo sauce is like right in between, just, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. But um, yeah, man, I mean, just that's how we started gelling, man. I started writing a lot of hooks and shit, and then, you know, I just don't like, it's like a picture. It's like, I don't, you know, beats are nothing without words. It can bring the whole beat out, you know what I'm saying? It's like you be a painter and shit, you got the canvas, and the, what's the name of you? Throw a bitch on that motherfucker, you bring the canvas a lot, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, man. Like, what what are you expecting to get off this tour? Like, you you out touching the people now. You know what I'm saying? You say you're not in a career with the MP and, and the keyboard. Like, Fruity Loops. You said Fruity Loops? Yeah, I gotta make that note. I've been on Fruity Loops way before okay. these niggas was fucking with Fruity Loops. And it was like, probably 10 some years, about 10, 12 years ago. Because I remember they used to get producers, like, it's you know what I'm saying? Loops. Yeah, grief about Fruity Loops. Yeah. And it's like, wow, like. We was coming up in the city, right? <laughs> when, I, when I was doing my thing, right before I met Wale, it was his. It was an old producer, I remember that day. But I remember, and I got the name and shit, and he was like, oh man, what you use? Use FL? I was like, he tried to play me. Next thing you know, we started making moves, and this nigga had a, a shirt that said FL with an X going through it. Yeah. Trying to do it. I said, oh, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's the movement, man. Yeah, but uh, you know, shout out to FL Studio. I got it for free, but now I bought the real thing, and I started getting money. That's what it is. <laughs> Yo, so as far as like any projects coming up? Um. Yeah, I got this song called the District Motion Picture. So my first mixtape is gonna be real. You know, if you if you know a lot of my production, I got a lot of big sound of music. You know, so I'm not, you know, I, I fuck with the trap sound. I love the trap drums. You know, what I'm saying I, I kind of match that with my city sound, which is go sound. Okay. You know, so that's the, the whole while they like three girls. Like CCB, no. Oh, that black guy, UCB. I graduated you know? from Bowie State, man. Oh, so you, yeah, you yeah, know what's going? Yeah, yeah, you know what's up. Yeah, yeah. The Bowie Wall and Howard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so. Yeah, I, I kind of, you know, I got my own sound. I'm just trying to embellish on that. Just so, you know, I like Atlanta got a sound that they took over. Dr. Dre had a sound, you know what I'm saying? And they had uh, Teddy Riley back then had a sound. So I'm trying to push my sound, you know, go all around the world. That's my whole thing. And that's the best thing I think, you know, like every producer has to have a sound. Like, that's important. But the thing is, every rapper has to have a sound too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what is, what do you think is your draw as far as like, uh, as a rapper? Uh, Maybe, Life experiences, you know what I'm saying? That's that's sharing anybody, anybody's point of view. So rapping is nothing but a reflection of your life. You know, all your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So it's just any given moment. Like right now, I can go get in the car and rap about today. You know what I'm saying? How you know I made this in the shot and about the, the tour and the last couple of days. You know what I'm saying? So. Man, let people know where they can find you at Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. Y'all can find me on IG because IG is more popular than anything right now. No disrespect to nobody. You know what I'm saying? You got IG at Atone P, I-T-O-N-E-P, and you can do the Twitter too. Twitter's uh, oh, Tone P underscore. And I'll be on Facebook. <laughs> True story. 
Like, you pick either one or the other. Like, Facebook got too extra. Too much going on, too little bubbles popping up and all that shit. That's a lot like, of family. It is? A lot of family. I just college thing back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, right here, he's with Beast TV, man. He's at Q11, Tone P. Shout out to the Big Cup Industry Tour, right here.